the Taurus cruise missile. The German Air Force's long-range weapon can destroy even underground targets with pinpoint accuracy. Büchel Air Base, Rhineland Palatinate. This is the base of the Tactical Air Wing 33. In the depot, technicians are preparing one of the Bundeswehr's most powerful weapons, the Taurus, an air-to-surface cruise missile. This airborne precision weapon is used to accurately engage high-value targets, such as enemy command posts or bunkers from a long range. Our Taurus cruise missile basically consists of three components, the nose section, the central section and the tail section. The nose section handles the navigation and guidance of the missile. The middle section holds the penetrator along with the tanks which feed the engine. It also holds the wing assembly which deploys when the missile has separated from the carrier aircraft. The engine is located in the tail section. That means the propulsion unit with the fins that basically steer the missile. The German Air Force deploys the Taurus from the Tornado fighter bomber. In the mission command center of the first flying squadron, the two-man crew consisting of the pilot and the weapons systems officer plan their training flight. Here we are planning the combined flight path with the Taurus up to its launch point in terms of altitude and heading. Then starting from this launch point, which is predetermined for us by the planning cell, the Taurus takes over autonomously using its sensor system and flies to the target on its own. The exact target coordinates and the flight path of the Taurus are set by a planning officer. The Tornado crew is then briefed on the Taurus flight plan. In front of one of the hardened aircraft shelters, aircraft mechanics practice preparing a Taurus. In a combat situation, the standoff weapon would first be refueled using regular jet fuel. The capacity of the tank is kept secret. Exactly how far the Taurus can fly is also a classified matter. However, its range is known to be more than 500 kilometers. Only Tornado fighter bombers are stationed at the airbase in Büchel. This two-seater multi-role jet fighter was introduced to the German Air Force in the early 1980s. And while the Air Force's tornadoes are continuously upgraded, their days in the Bundeswehr are numbered. By the year 2030, all tornadoes will have been taken out of service. After refueling, the aircraft mechanics attach the cruise missile to one of the fighter bomber's weapon stations. The Tornado can carry two Taurus missiles at a time on the pylons below its fuselage. The cruise missile has a so-called tandem charge warhead. This comprises a shaped charge and a penetrator, a steel projectile that is about two meters long and filled with explosives. The Taurus was rolled out in 2005. The German Air Force currently has approximately 600 of these cruise missiles. Before takeoff, the target data is transferred to the pre-mounted missile. Using this data, it will then fly completely autonomously to the target. So we've specified a complete flight plan from speed to altitude to timing and target. We've saved the whole thing and are now loading it into the cruise missile with the ground loader. The crew then take over the mission-ready fighter bomber. The pilot and weapon systems officer make a go-around, carrying out one final visual inspection of the plane and the weapons it's carrying. On a mission, the pilot flies the jet while the WSO or weapons system officer in the rear cockpit coordinates the deployment of weapons. In the tornado, both the pilot and the WSO are technically and tactically capable of releasing the cruise missile at the aiming point. 
The torus is about five meters long, a little more than a meter in width, and weighs 1.4 tons. The turbofan engine propels it close to the speed of sound, nearly 1,200 kilometers per hour. The guaranteed range is 500 kilometers, but the maximum combat range is classified. The warhead consisting of a shaped charge and the penetrator weighs over half a ton. Each cruise missile costs around 1 million euros. Tornado crews fire the live weapon during testing in South Africa. The weapons computer basically gives me information about when the Taurus has to be launched. Whether that is distance out to the launch point or timing, I get a clear signal when to release the Taurus. The release, launching the weapon, happens hundreds of kilometers away from the actual target. The cruise missile then flies autonomously along the programmed flight path. It does this using four navigation systems. So-called inertial navigation, terrain markers along the attack route, and finally, an infrared seeker. This means the Taurus practically always finds its target, even if one of the systems fails. The tremendous penetrating power of the Taurus makes it suitable for high-value targets that are heavily protected or fortified, such as bunkers or headquarters. It is also well-suited for targeting aircraft shelters or other important infrastructure, such as bridges. The Taurus can follow any programmable attack course. To avoid being shot down, it flies low to the target, say a bunker, pulling up steadily just as it approaches and then hitting the target at a preset angle. As it does this, the shape charge blows open the way for the penetrator. The latter then pierces the other levels of the bunker before exploding with pinpoint accuracy. After the tornadoes have been retired, the Eurofighter will serve as the carrier aircraft.